Alright guys, welcome back to the second video of the single page application with React and we are going to start building in here the navigation bar. Right, let's see in here, this is my, my uh, the, the app that we're going to build, so I'm going to build in here first of all the navigation bar and for that, let's go in here, we are writing our code into this app.js. So I'm going in here and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write a, a nav okay and inside the nav in here i'm going to put a um, h2 for example a title and i'm going to put in here oscars 2019 and in here i'm going to put uh, an ordered list so i'm going to put an unordered list and i'm going to put some allies okay so i'm going to put something like uh, home I'm going to copy this over a couple of times. So it's going to be home, best actors, and in here is going to be best actress, and in here is going to be best films. Okay, let's see how does it look like in the browser. There it is. Okay, we've got Oscars and we've got all of these things in here. But let's start styling this up a little bit. So I want to, in here, where it says source, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put a new folder and I'm going to call it CSS. And inside of this folder, I'm going to put a new file called style.css. You can call it whatever you want. And in here, I'm just going to copy some of these styles that I had from the, the project before that I don't remember now. So I'm going to put all of these. This was coming with React. I deleted before. I shouldn't have done it. So I'm just going to put it in here because I think the code looks nice with this uh, CSS styling. So let me put these. I can get rid of these. Okay. Okay. So we got this in here. We got the code. If you want to copy this over, just pause the video and copy what's in here because uh, there is no point for, for me. You guys are all the time asking me for the code. You can basically just cop copy what's in here. Uh, all right, so we got this one in here. And now uh, I'm going to target my app. Okay, so where is the app? Look, we got the container in here, app. Um, so there it is. And we need to import... I'm going to import my, let's say, index, where it is, import, uh, like this, CSS slash uh, styles.css. I think that should be it. And I'm going to put in here, uh, what can I put in here in the body? So background, just to see if he's working. Background color, light blue. Yeah, so it's working. You see, it goes straight away. So we got this one working in here. And now my app, I want to put it as a um, background color. I want it to be white. I want to have a max width of 992 pixels and I want to be a margin auto to be centered in the in the middle of the page so nothing happening here so this is for the app let's see what we got in here app we got the Oscars um, so this should be fine I guess up ah class name app it's a capital okay so capital like this. Yeah, now now it's better. As you can see, we got this in, in the middle in here. Right, let's go in here again to our style.css. And in here, let's see what we got. We got our nav. So in my nav, I'm going to put in here nav. I'm going to put it a display of flex. I'm going to put justify content uh, uh space between to push things to each side okay let's see how does it look like so this one is in here now and this one is in here 
let me see the style that I put in here so I don't forget anything. Right, okay. Where is my... Um, we got my nav. Right, in my nav, I'm going to put this border bottom. So, border bottom, one pixel solid gray. I'm going to put my background color to be orange. So, we got this on the nav and then we got the H2. This H2, I'm going to put it a class of logo. I think that's it. Yeah, class of logo. And okay, so this is fine. And now my, I got my UL in here, which I'm going to call class of nav menu, nav dash menu. And what I'm going to put in this dash um, nav dash menu, we got a li. Okay, let's go in here to nav dash menu and I'm going to put my li. I'm going to put a display of inline block. I'm going to put list style none. I think that should be it. Yeah, look at this. Now it's looking much better. So let me see what else is missing in here. I need some padding as well. Okay, so I'm going to put in here some padding. Padding 10 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. So this is exactly what I want. Also, uh, let me see. I've got a display, so this is fine. This is fine in here. Um, yeah, let me just like go in here, inspect my UL LI. Okay. This is fine. I'm gonna put I'm I'm actually I'm actually gonna go in here and I'm gonna click this, take this off, and I'm gonna put all of the elements on the page with a star and put these and box sizing border oops border box let's see border box so much better now uh, let's see what else do i have in here no i don't i don't actually need to put this kind of code because it's not going to make any difference in here Right, let's start styling these ones in here, these um, links. So I'm going in here, now we got the anchor element, so nav menu link, okay? So in app, I'm gonna put some anchor elements. So a href, and I'm gonna put some placeholder in here. I'm gonna cut this off, put it in here. I'm going to copy, copy this, place, place, place in here, close this anchor tag in here. All of this is done. What's, what's complaining about? Ah, th this is fine because we are going to, we are going to get rid of this after. Let's just see how does it look like. Right, this is fine let's let's see now this one in here so it's going to be nav menu link let's put a class on it class of nav menu dash dash link something like this yeah i'm going to copy this over a couple of times couple of times Let's see. Yeah, so we got this one in here. Now let's do the styling that we need. Okay. So first thing we need to do is put it as a display. So I'm going to put in here nav menu dash dash link display of inline block. 
Right, we got display inline block in here. Let's see what else. Margin five pixels. Margin five pixels. We got the border of one pixel solid gray. Text decoration to be none to get rid of that underline that we had in here. So this is fine. What else we are missing? Border radius, background color. Okay. So border radius, five pixels. Uh, what's the padding? Three pixels. Padding, three pixels, top and bottom, eight pixels, left and right. There it is. And now uh, we miss the background color and I think that's it for now. So back ground color of um, white. Okay. Let's see. And there it is. Okay. Let's just do the hover now. So the hover let me just go in here. Let me go to my previous styles and see what do I have in there. So where it is. This one in here, I'm just going to copy this over in here. Okay, my nav menu link over when we are going to do a hover, it's going to be one pixel solid black of the border. Background color is going to be this one. And we are going to have a transition. Okay. The transition is just to make sure that is smooth, the transition. All right, let's refresh this. Let's see. There it is. Look, exactly what we wanted. And that's it. That's it for this video. Now we got, uh, let's just, let me just put something in here. Where is it? Uh, I'm going to put in an anchor href. Because I'm going to put something else in here to go to the home page after. Okay, so we got the href in here. And let me see just what's the class that I put in here. So logo link. Okay, so I'm going to put in here a class. Class of logo. Oops, control Z. Logo link. Let's go in here and I'm going to put something like this uh, in here. Now I'm just going to put this in here. Logo link is going to have a color of white. Okay. Um, why did this not change? So this is logo dash link. Logo dash link. where it is logo dash link. It should be fine. Let me just see. I'm going to put the text decoration to be none as well. Yeah, now it's fine. Look at this, right? So we got our, as you can see, we got our navigation bar ready. Now, the next thing I want to do is just building here the home page, but this is going to be in the next video. All right, guys. So I hope you are enjoying this series and I'll see you in the next video.